like you haven't been in a vlog in a really long time. As I haven't been you in a vlog. You haven't actually. It's been, it's been about a month. So Danny, welcome back to the video. And hello everybody, welcome back to another vlog. We're currently on our way to the Irish Whiskey Museum for a bit of whiskey tasting on this Saturday morning. Last weekend, I took my cousins there. Well, I don't know if I took them or we all mutually decided to go and taste alcohol very early on a Saturday after a night of drinking on the Friday. But we went and we had a really great time. We went to Jameson. I'll insert the clips from Jameson because today I'm in the mood for a little bit of comparison. Does the Irish Whiskey Museum stack up against Jameson? Because I thought Jameson was absolutely fantastic. It'll be very interesting to see. And Danny has never done any whiskey tasting before. No. This is totally new for you. I would call I myself working. a whiskey connoisseur now. What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. If I sound delicate, it's because I am. I think these yokes behind me are pretty delicate as well. <laughs> we haven't met Shannon. This is my cousin Shannon. Samantha is hiding in the background and you've met Nikki before on a couple of occasions. We are on a girls weekend in Dublin this weekend. The long man called weekend. We went out last night and... We went out last night and... Now we are about to head out to do the Jameson Distillery, which is going to be so exciting. I don't like whiskey, but this should be interesting. <laughs> The view of Trinity from up here is absolutely gorgeous. So for anybody who's not familiar with Trinity College or with Dublin in general, this here is what we call Front Arch. And it's just the main entrance way to the college. And obviously if you get a bus tour, it passes along here. So you get to see everything, which is really cool. What I think is a really cute and unique experience straight away when you come into the museum. There's like a little cafe bar place where you can sit down and have a drink and you can take that on your tour with you. But it's totally different to Jameson. Jameson is like a really big bar. This buzz in here is really chill. Everybody's just having a nice time. Danny is grabbing that pint at the bar. <laughs> nice Danny, nice. Whiskey tasting, drinking Guinness, I love it. What's up, sir? This is you. What we're going to do is we're going to pick up the first glass on our left hand side. The hand forms an L when you hold it out in front of you. Mm -hmm. Little finger in, if you've a beard, stroke it. <laughs> if you have a moustache, twirl it. That's why most of the male guys around here have beards, makes us look like we know what we're actually doing. But once you stop, then something happens. You see these little droplets making their way down the side of the glass. In wine, these are called the legs. In whiskey, they're called the tears. A little bit more dramatic around here. But this can tell you how your drink was made. Very thin, very watery tears that reflect in your first glass. Maybe set it aside and come back to it after you try the other drinks. It'll be quite different. Okay, so tour is done. What are your thoughts? Well, it's gonna take a lot of practice. <laughs> a lot of practice to drink the whiskey, so we're both a little bit like, mm -hmm, that, that is burning my throat, my nose, and every other part of my body. In probably, not a good way. We should probably get started straight away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but overall, the, the two experiences were so different, but equally as brilliant. This Jameson is a huge distillery. It's very much more of a commercial kind of experience. Excellent, brilliant, but very commercial here. It was much more of a tour through the history, through whiskey in Ireland, and very specifically Irish whiskey. So we got to taste a couple of different Irish whiskeys. In Jameson, we tasted three different types of whiskey. It was an American whiskey, a Scots whiskey, and obviously Jameson. So they're both very different experiences, but I, I really enjoyed them both, I think. I wish I could compare, but I didn't get to do the Jameson one. Girls, we can. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry Danny. The Christmas lights are up. Look at them. Yeah, but there's Look no at them. 
turning on event this year. Is there not? It's just going to be on. Really? This is breaking my heart because every year we've either missed it or haven't been here. Yeah. And this is the one year we're here, literally outside the door, and we're not going to make it because it's not on. Yeah. That is typical. Ah. Our faces when the fun is over and we have to go and do like the list of errands and chores that we have to do today. So I got a click and collect delivery from Holland and Barrett this week and we're lucky we checked. I felt like the box was too light for what I'd ordered and there was actually a couple of things missing. So I need to go and collect that and enjoy the Christmas decorations in here. How insanely gorgeous is the Stephen's Green shopping centre for Christmas? I can't get over it. I was in here last week and there was nothing Christmassy. It was like, oh, Halloween, everything. And then I came in here and it was like, bam, Christmas just happened as soon as it was the first of November. I absolutely love it and they do it so well. These are just like giant globes that are suspended from the ceiling and they're so effective. It's gorgeous. They didn't have the product that I wanted, which is really disappointing. You can apparently only get it online. So I got a refund. Oh, sometimes a refund is not what you want. You actually need to get the thing that you ordered, which I can't speak about because it was a present for somebody. Oh my God, everybody, the most random thing in the world just happened. Myself and Danny were grabbing a sandwich in Landis and we ran into Cormac, who works in the Disney <laughs> store, and he was just like, oh my God, yeah. I watched your video. I was like, you did not. And we got the job, honestly. We got the job. Oh my God, this is the best thing. It has made my day. So I hope you're really enjoying the Disney I am, store. Yeah, I, I know if anybody has seen that video, I link it in a card just above us for anybody who is, I don't know if they're, if they're doing interviews, are they at the moment? Um, or are they January, kind of done? Probably, yeah. Possibly in January, if anybody is looking for a job in the Disney store, come in and ask for Cormac. Yeah. He'll give you the lowdown. <laughs> yeah. It was so nice to meet it's you. Really oh my god, this is just about the year I have to give you a hug. Oh, <laughs> it's my first like little, oh, I recognize yeah. you. This is so cool. I had to let the poor child go back to work because I was literally like, oh my god, tell me everything you found helpful about the video. But he, he said he genuinely found it really helpful, especially because there's only one Disney store in Dublin. So I'm delighted. And it was lovely to meet him. And hi, Cormac. <laughs> so it was really nice of him to come and say hello. So if anybody does ever see us popping around town, like definitely come up and say hello because I love meeting y'all I think it's deadly like that's so fun before I go I wanted to show you what dear old Danny did with his pumpkin it was hilarious so he carved his pumpkin fairly late I think he actually only did it on Halloween night but he eventually got around to it after mine and mom's absolutely unbelievable efforts and he made initially <laughs> this is so cute let me turn on the lights so I can show you he initially tried to do scar which completely just didn't happen I could see what he was going for but didn't happen then this was our Halloween pumpkin, which is adorable. Super cute, little Halloween pumpkin man. And then, <laughs> as soon as it was the first of November, this is what he did, and it's so cute. It actually lights up really well. I love it, it's so creative. Absolutely made my evening when I came home and saw that lighting. <laughs> But anyway, everybody, the hair is up and I am da -da 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 done for the day. I really hope you enjoyed our little whiskey tour and also meeting Cormac, our very first person to ever stop us in the street and say, oh, I recognize you. Just the most incredible feeling. I've just been on such a buzz all day. It's so amazing to hear that something that I've created for you or a voice that I've shared has helped somebody. So I really hope you enjoy your week and I will be talking to you in my next video. Bye.